everyone. What's up? What's good? It's it me. It's Nicole. We're playing Amnesia Memories. Uh yeah, so we were on Toma's route for no particular reason. I do I on on the record have shouted at people who like Toma. Oh. I have screamed, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Pettiness. But also because I was honestly just curious about Toma. Where where is my save? Where is my save? Oh nosies! It appears that my sa I definitely saved. It's fine. We'll, for the sake of time, we'll just, we'll just do new game. Boom. It's all good, fam. Oh god, that's so loud. Must Skip through yeah. this, this little bugger. Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Uh. I see a bug. You're a pest. Get out of here. So this little thing came up. It's a god. Essentially, we're fused together in a sense that my memories are gone and his are or something. Essentially, we're stuck with him. Should we still name the girl Toby? Are we gonna... Yeah, with that petty. Oh my god, you're still talking. Hi, Toma. Hi, baby boy. Hello. So, this is Toma. I'm gonna give a quick rundown. This is Toma. He was our childhood best friend. He's very overprotective. He found us passed out, uh, which is why he's panicking, as you can see. He takes us to a hospital. Here we are. Uh, they talk about anemia for some reason. We essentially started remembering stuff when he arrived. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then eventually, obviously, like after days, and I mean days, of being in the hospital, for kind of like, because. The, MR the MRI machine was b mysteriously broken. Apparently there was only one for some reason. Um, but that was broken, uh, which was a bit weird. And I kind of have a theory that I think Toma is a bit sus. He probably is. Eventually we can leave. He keeps visiting. He gives us a cell phone. Or his no or cell phone number. And we thought it was a bit weird that he... Sorry, that pose is actually really cute. He gave us a, a, a cell phone, which we thought was a bit weird because it's like, how did you know that we didn't have it on us? Or how did you, you know, it, he's been doing kind of suspicious things, which part of the course, I guess. Like I said, I, I got to get to a certain part that we were because this technically is the prologue, like slash the intro. Just to give a quick, quick. Tommy takes us home. He says, I'll take you back to your apartment. Um, so this is where we're supposedly are. I say supposedly, because at one point Tom was like, oh, let me get your mail, which you would think is a bit weird. It's like, okay, I get your protective, but why are you getting it? Why, why aren't we getting it sort of thing? So we thought that was a bit weird. Oh, I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good to, to save this here. And then this way, this is on camera. I'm hitting yes. There we go. Okay. We're good. If that goes missing, there's either a ghost, Toby's being that petty that he's delaying it, or it's just a glitch in the system. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. You're being pretty quiet. I guess you just aren't feeling like yourself. I forgot. He, I think fig we told him that we lost our memories. And then this is when it started to get a bit more suspicious. Also, oh, you're having a hard time remembering things too. Seeing how formal you are of me, don't tell me you don't know who I am. Do you know whose house this is? How long you've been living here? Now, in the last stream, after he said this, and for a while, I, even before this bit, I kind of I kind of suspected it. I was like, as soon as he went to check the mail last stream, I was like, huh, has he taken us to his house? And then this kind of, to me, seemed to confirm it. It's not been outright said, but I'm going to assume this is his place. Because he also knows where stuff is. And even Orion comments like, oh, he seems to know where everything is. Like, he must have been around a lot. I'm sure you remember base- Actually, I want to hear his voice. He's got a really nice voice. But anyway, I should probably contact Shin, who is the black-haired boy. Uh, who, who, he's like the main boy. I was tempted to go for him. He was like, I think he's probably my favorite so far. But first I was petty to, to Toby. Because he, he 
does not like Toma. And it felt a bit too easy to go for the main boy. I wanted, I was generally curious about Toma as well, so I kind of wanted to see what his chick was and then maybe go for Shin in my own time. Uh, anyway, I should probably contact Shin about this. Wait just a minute, I'll call him. For context, Toma and Shin and us were like childhood friends. That's what I've gathered from this. Like, we're all kind of like a group. Uh, anyway, Yushin and I always played together, until high school at least. Uh, after that, we started growing further apart. We moved, we went into college, we started living alone. On the day he collapsed, I was on my way to your apartment complex to wait for you. We were planning to meet after a long time apart. When I saw you on the ground like that, when I arrived, I was so shocked. Mind if I have some coffee? I'll get some from the kitchen. You want some too, right? Huh. It looks like Toma knows his way around your house now. I thought that was a bit weird. I was like, ah, wait a minute. Because he just got done saying how it's been ages since we've met up in person. Because obviously we separate, we're not separate, but like we, we had our own stuff going on. And he was literally coming to our apartment to meet with us after a long time. So how would he know our way around, his way around the house? You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, okay, some people were like, oh, well, it's not that hard if it's an apartment. Sure, okay. But come on. I'm pretty sure he's brought us to his house. I think he's known for a while before we even said anything that we, we lost our memories. Or when, because he said that the doctor told him like this could happen. It could be that he wanted to test that theory and wanted to see if we would pick up that, oh, wait a minute, this isn't our place, Toma. Why, where are we going? And we didn't, so that's why I think even if we hadn't said anything to him, it wouldn't have mattered. He must have come here a lot before you lost your memories. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse <laughs> me. All right, now completely new territory. I've no. This is literally where we stopped last stream. Shin's here, Toby. There he is. Look at it. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> I'm just going to turn him up a little bit so I can hear his voice more in my ears. Hi, Shin. Oh, no, the regret's starting to sit in. <laughs> yeah, I honestly thought Shin was older. Anyway, so this is Shin. Tomo said he's a year below you, right? He's a baby. Oh, my God. Why am I always in the way? Well, it's not like I mind checking... Let me just, there we go, I'll disappear for a second. Maybe I should like, move myself here maybe? So what happened? Were you just being an idiot and fell over? Or do you have low blood pressure or something? That's why I told you, living alone isn't for you. Okay, Shin. Stop. Maybe I need to make myself smaller. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going on an adventure. Okay, that's enough. She doesn't need you interrogating her. No, no, Shin, keep going. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, hold on. Actually, I know I just adjusted the camera, but I just want to... I'm liking... I don't know, I, I'm kind of liking this this situation. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, Shin, you can stay if you want. Like, you know, you don't have to leave. And that's the thing as well. Shin wouldn't be able to say, I don't think, like, oh, this isn't your place, this is Toma's place. Because as far as I know, this is the first time they've all met up after like a while. We'll find out, I guess. More importantly, Toma. Uh, she was in the hospital all that time. And you waited until just now to contact me about it? It's how you hid this from me. It's ticked me off. I did hide this from you. I didn't want it to interfere with your exams. See? And yet Toby doesn't love Toby. This, clearly this guy's a green flag all the way. Surely nothing's wrong with him. Anyway, she doesn't strike me as the type to die easily, even if she was killed. Is that foreshadowing, sir? Did I, did I already, did I already, is this heaven? <laughs> the doctor said, uh, said she should be back to normal in two or three days. Two or three days. Sorry, he's got a really nice, they really got a nice voice. It's like, it's like so... Huh? Wait, no! Two or three days was just for the injury. Her memories need just a bit longer, please. Orion, we have discussed this before. They cannot hear you, sir. Only I can, and it's getting the fucking worse. There you go. Uh, it's not like they can hear me. It's no use getting so worked up lit like this. Ah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, can you... 
maybe, maybe shut up for a second so I can actually speak. I love, I love this imagery. They're like, man, she's, she's not saying much, man. She's a bit spaced out. Like, yeah, man, like, I'm a bit worried about her. The whole time we're just sitting there with this annoying child just screaming in our head. We, can, we can't even hear them at this point. It's not even our own voice. It's, it's a child. Is it really okay to leave her alone? Like this when she's so out of it. Should I stay over? Yes, 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 yes. Stay, stay, stay. Please, it could be a sleepover. You know, like, you know, just friends chilling out. <laughs> you realize we're not kids in kindergarten anymore, right? And I doubt she'd be able to get any rest if two men were staying in the room with her. I mean, you say that? You haven't asked me? Personally, I, I you know, I think I need two men exactly to be in the room. You two specifically, you know, I don't really feel comfortable with anyone else, you know, like, I mean, I'm cool with it. Like, can I, can I get, can I have a say in this? Can I say something now? I can study here. You didn't bring anything with you. If your grades get shot because of this, I won't call you the next time anything happens. Yeah, I know they're arguing, and I know it's childhood friends arguing and, and all that. It's a bit, like, kind of serious and all that. This is kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that? It's probably just me. So what do you think, Toby? Are you gonna be okay on your own? No, I can't pick both! Are you kidding me? This game ain't fair. I, I, where's the, hey, let's all hang out, man. All right, uh, I'll be fine. I want you to stay, Shin. I want Toby to stay. Can I? So like, would I be able to, on, on Toma's route, I'm gonna pick Toma just because we're going down the Toma path. But like, so say like if I pick Tom, like Toma's route, but then said I want Shin to stay. So like, if I picked Shin, would, would it switch from Toma's to, to Shin's? Oh, well, I guess that means I'm leaving. Ah, Bye Shin, so yes, I see you. Also, I called you work and said you'll be taken today and tomorrow off. If you're okay going to the day, uh, to go the day after, I'll go with you. Work? You have a job too? Oh, this is bad. We don't have enough information at all. It is more information than we had when we started, Orion. Shush. We need to gather information to reclaim your memories before then. Somehow, somehow I feel fulfilling those conditions is really going to be tough. Anyway, you should get a rest for today. And we'll get, back, we'll get to work tomorrow. Cool. Can you hush? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Shay. Can I'm not gonna have time. No, don't go, don't go. I did it. I did it, chat. I gave him a smooch. Don't tell Toma.